All right, hello everyone. My name is Boofamania, and today I'm going to be sharing my first impressions for Modern Warfare 3. I'm going to be giving a quick little review after a week of playing the game and what I think of it so far. So, if you click on the video, I'm going to go ahead and kindly request that you like and subscribe. So, also before we actually get into it, I want to go ahead and preface this by saying that if my rating seems a little bit high, please understand that the Call of Duty honeymoon phase is a real thing. So, take my rating if you perceive it as being a little bit too high with a grain of salt. Yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into what my experience has been like with the game. What has my experience been like on MW3 and how much do I actually like the game? So right off the rip, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my rating. I feel like the game is a solid 7 out of 10. I at least acknowledge and know that the game is actually good. It does, it's not like terrible and it's going to age a lot better than Modern Warfare 2 because of how the game is actually built, the gameplay, the mechanics, all that good stuff. So yeah, 7 out of 10, uh, mainly like a, probably like a 7.5 out of 10. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. All right, so what are the things that I don't like about the game? What's weighing this game's rating down for me? And first and foremost, the spawns in comparison to when the game was out during its beta have improved, but there's so many times where I feel like I'm killing people and then I can't heal. I'm always like one shot. I'm always weak. I'm always trying to stay out of the action for a little bit to heal and I'm always getting shot always There's always somebody every gunfight that I take I'm always weak and I could do a better job of playing my life and just maneuvering around the map The game does something weird and it's very annoying. They constantly spawn people behind you I'm always getting shot in the ass I've noticed numerous times when I'm playing the game that I kill somebody and then like two seconds later That person that I just killed kills me as I'm shooting somebody else But they kill me from behind or from the side It's the most frustrating thing about the game and I don't understand what the spawn logic is I have zero spawn knowledge I'm actually rank and i still don't know how the spawns work they're very confusing to me i just feel like i'm always getting shot in the back the spawns need some more work high rise if you get put on a really shitty team you're not going to be able to do anything because usually what happens is i play against some absolute fucking grinders and they have map control and they're all holding an iron towards the side of the map that you're spawning on and it's impossible because they're just looking at the big windows they're just mowing us down and there's nothing you can do and it's just annoying because you spawn in the same exact place every single time so i'm gonna go ahead and segue into another thing that i don't like about the game and that's skill based matchmaking oh my fucking good the skill based matchmaking this year is eating my ass dude i can't fucking compete and i don't get it listen i played a lot of modern warfare 2 rank play that's the main thing that i played this is pretty much the only thing that i played for modern warfare 2 i grinded to iridescent like three or four times i've matched up against pro players top 250 players i know what it feels like to play against good players and playing these pub matches are honestly i'm gonna go and say it they're fucking harder they they require more patience and just i don't know attention than a rank play match takes like i've always been iridescent and dude i find myself absolutely sweating sometimes because I'm fighting for my fucking life to go positive. When people use the cheesiest setups. It's ridiculous. I can't buy a fucking kill sometimes. And I, I feel, I get humbled, all right, in public matches. And I don't understand what the point is of having a rank play game mode that's going to come out soon and having the skill based matchmaking ramped all the way up in what's supposed to be like a casual playlist for people to just relax in. I get off a 10 hour shift. I load up the game, not having played at all. And I'm very rusty. I'm just playing up against other iridescent players and just my team isn't good. They expect me to carry them, but I just got off where it's, it's annoying. It's ridiculous. Also, the skill based matchmaking this year more than ever it seems like they finally got their algorithm or whatever they use for this perfected because holy shit it is the most structured fake environment that i've ever been a part of everything is so calculated it gets repetitive as fuck because you join in the game late you'll go like nine and seven or something game after that i, I do decent i'll go like 40 and like 28 or something like that and the next game after that i know that i'm probably going to be playing up against some good people so i'll struggle i'll go like 30 and like 22 and then the game after that i'm struggling to go positive you know i got like a 0.7 kd i'm getting shot in the back we have zero map control and then the game after that is when i get a good game it is just it feels like i'm fucking i'm stuck in the matrix bro i feel like an npc this shit is so fabricated and just honestly fake there's no element of surprise it just feels so repetitive i know what to expect based off how i did the game prior and it's not good i don't feel content i don't feel any satisfaction <laughs> in playing something that's so repetitive and just so structured like that if that makes any sense i don't know if i'm doing a good job of explaining it but it's honestly horrible it's the worst shit so besides the skill based matchmaking spawns another thing that i really dislike is the armory but we just kept it the way that it was before where you just had to play the game and level up to actually unlock things that would honestly be a lot better because it just everything seems so convoluted there's like a million things that you have to track manually and then you have to complete your daily challenges and then once you, you only get three of those per day by the way and then once you get those three challenges done you have to win games and then that counts as completing a daily challenge and that is a horrible way of unlocking things because it's very frustrating first off to do random ass daily challenges something like getting two kills with a claymore 
and it makes you play the game and experiment with different things but at the same time why why are we trying to get cute with this type of thing why don't we save this for like exclusively for emblems and calling cards i don't it just it's a very bad idea in my opinion to unlock things this way but outside of that those are pretty much all the things that i don't like just the spawns the skill based matchmaking the armory the level cap no prestiging the main thing that matters to me though is how the gunplay is what is it like to load into a game and actually get kills play on these maps play these game modes how satisfying is it to actually use a weapon and get kills with it and in my opinion it's amazing the gunplay is really fun that's what keeps me playing using a weapon feels very satisfying getting a kill being rewarded by like a satisfying hit marker sound or like the sound that you know getting a headshot makes and whatnot that's pretty cool it's probably something small but to me it's very important it's a very big thing because if it were boring then i most likely would not be playing as much and i just would not care about the game like that and the movement obviously is an improvement for modern warfare 2 there actually is a skill gap that has been added to the game some because you know obviously if you have better movement and aim than somebody else they're not going to be able to track you and you're going to be able to snap on them another thing that i didn't like about the game real quick is the menu ui it is a complete copy and paste from last year's game modern warfare 2 it is the exact same thing the only thing that changes like the color instead of it being green it's blue now it's the exact same shit except like the colored tabs are different and that is ridiculous because that is boring that is extremely boring so lazy you're paying 70 dollars, and if you ask the casual player to tell you the difference between the two menus it probably wouldn't be able to tell you which one is which because the exact same shit minus a couple of color differences which is pathetic because it just it feels fucking it's just mind-numbingly boring seeing the same menu over and over and over two years in a row now so with that being said let's go to get back into the positives i promise i promise i'm not trying to be negative here it's just that the menu ui thing totally flew over my mind so i had to add that in real quick back to the positives the maps are also pretty decent except they just play weird because the way that the spawns are and like a game of like hardpoint that didn't even exist when these maps originally came out so things are going to be a little bit wonky but the maps are fun this map skid row i didn't really like in the beta but now that i've had a lot more playtime, i actually do enjoy it i think it's a and yeah i think the maps are actually a w especially because a lot of people get to relive maps of the past and i'm experiencing the these maps for the first time because i didn't play modern warfare 2 like that so a lot of this is still new to me and i'm having a fun time also we have dead silence dead silence you can actually move around the map without getting sound hard by a fucking door using a sound eq and blasting his game audio you can actually make plays on the map flank people shoot people from the side by making a good play and you don't get punished for that no more so that's very important to me and ultimately the good outweighs the bad i know that skill based matchmaking is bad and all that stuff but honestly it's just just the way that gaming is these days everybody's just cracked out of their mind everybody has the best monitor everybody has the best shit they got the best monitor on the market 360 hertz they got their modded controllers they got cracked ass wi-fi all that good stuff you know gaming just is a it's an expensive hobby so i don't expect everybody to be dog shit at it and just not try but at the same time the skill based matchmaking algorithm just still be beating my ass sometimes and i don't like it if you made it to this point in the video i wanted to go ahead i want to go ahead and thank you for doing so because it means the world to me honestly and again if you haven't already make sure you hit the like and subscribe button it would honestly make my year but yeah let me go and let me know your thoughts on modern warfare 3 and hopefully you guys are having a good time again i rate the experience for the game a 7.5 out of 10 and with that i hope you guys enjoy the rest Every day. Deuces.